At 3,500 meters above sea level, in the heart of the Andes Mountains lies Cusco, once the imperial capital of the Inca Empire, and later the historic capital of colonial Peru. It's the gateway to another world heritage site, Machu Picchu, the famous 15th century Inca citadel above the Sacred Valley, usually packed with foreign tourists. But Machu Picchu is now off limits until further notice. Protesters have partially destroyed the only access to the lost city of the Incas. We Peruvians don't even have free access to Machu Picchu. Only private business interests benefit from our heritage. A nearly two-month-long general strike, mass protests and blocked highways have left Machu Picchu and Cusco devoid of tourists, the main source of income here. This wall belongs to what was the palace of the sixth Inca, the Inca Roca, and one of its main attractions is this. It's called the 12 Angle Stone, and it is an example of an extraordinary technique called polygonal masonry. And it's one of the reasons why tourists come here to see this, except that now there practically aren't any. Hotels are empty and losing millions. This has been a terrible blow. With the events that we're witnessing, the occupancy in hotels until March has dropped 90% because of cancellations. Unemployment soared to 75%. Some shops have closed under threats from strikers. But Don Mariano's shop that sells handmade shoes is still open for business. We don't sell anything anymore. We have to pay a lot of rent. The staff is on strike and there's no tourists from North America and Europe. We run into women who make their living by offering tourists to take photos with their baby alpacas. They've come to Cusco from their village two hours away. But they say there isn't enough business to buy food for their animals. Peru used to receive two million tourists before the pandemic and the strike. But now these indigenous protesters are the only ones who arrive here in large numbers. We want the president to resign, to leave and for new elections to be called. That's the only way we will get back to normal. But there's no sign that either the president or Congress will meet the protesters' demands. While one of the world's most attractive tourist destinations sinks into despair. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Cusco, Peru.